Good morning, everyone. Today we're going to be talking about three different ways to write a number, okay? You might think there's only one way to write a number. Maybe you know that there's two, but there's actually three, so we're going to talk about those. Um, I'm going to write a number in our place value chart, say 235, okay? So 235, if I just write it the way that I write it, with the two in the hundreds place, the three in the tens place, the ones in the five place, that is the normal way we write a number. We call this the standard form. Okay? Um, if we then take a number and let's say we're writing, we're doing an assignment, we're doing some sort of written work, we're doing a, re a report or research paper, and we want to write out that number. You know, we say it's 200. 35. Okay, we would write it out with words. So this is what we call the written form. In the written form, you'll notice I do not use the word and. We do not say 235. We say 235. There is a reason we don't say the and, because in math, when you say the and, that is the decimal point. And the decimal point goes after the ones place. You'd say 235 and 5 tenths, okay? So if you are saying a number that does not have a decimal, you do not use the word and when you write it, and you should not use the word and when you say it. So it's 235, or you write it out 235. No and. Okay, that will come later. All right, and the last form is what we call the expanded form. And this one can be a little bit trickier. But I think you've done it before, but in fifth grade, we're going to kick it up a notch. Oops, sorry. I'm writing standard form again. Let's move on to talk about expanded form. Okay, so expanded form. So expanded form is when we take that number and we stretch it out and we write the value of each digit. And this is why we talked a lot about the value of a digit the other day, um, or the value of each digit, okay? All right, so here we go. So the two is in the hundred place. So you guys have done 200, right, plus 30 plus 5. And the reason that we put pluses in between is because we need to put these numbers back together again to make 235. So expanded, you know, we talked about taking numbers apart before, so this is kind of the same idea. With the expanded form, you take something that's built and you pull it apart into its pieces. So 235 is made of the pieces 200, 30, and 5. So we pull apart those pieces, but just like we went when we did distributive property, when we pulled something apart, when we're done, we have to add it back together again. How do you know you have the right expanded form? Well, if you add it back together again, if you add 230 and 5 back together, if you have the correct, expand, correct expanded form, you're going to get 235, which is the number you started with. Kind of similar to how we do just, uh, distributive property. So let's try something a little bit different. All right. Let's go with 1,456. Right now, it's in standard form, and there would be a comma here, all right? If I were to put it in written form, I would write out the words 1,456. Again, no and in there, okay? Expanded form, I would write the value of each number, but now we're going to up it a notch. 1,000 plus 400 plus 50 plus 6. Now we get to what I called fifth grade expanded form which is where we not only write the value, but we write how we get each value. So 1,000 is really one group of 1,000 plus four groups of 100 plus five groups of 10 plus six groups of one. Okay? So it seems a little bit more complicated, but again, we're just pulling the numbers apart. Why is this a thousand? Because we have one in the thousands place. So we have one group of a thousand. Why is this 400? Because we have 
4 in the hundreds place, which is 4 groups of 100. Why is this 50? Because we have 5 in the tens place, so we have 5 groups of 10. And why is this 6? Because we have a 6 in the ones place, and we have 6 groups of 1. So we're literally just taking numbers and pulling them apart. And honestly, the reason that we do this is just so that we can understand the value of numbers and how they work. Um, most times, you're not going to write it this way in your daily life, but there's going to be times when you're going to want to know why this is worth this. And so this kind of helps us understand that. And in some instances, you will work pulling numbers apart like this, depending on what direction you take or where you decide to go. And since we don't know what direction we take or where we're going to decide to go, we're going to give each of us some knowledge to help build pathways and connections in our brain and help us understand things better. So one more, I think, before we're done with this. Let's do, I'm going to try a darker colored marker here. Um, 24,200 and, ooh, I'm not supposed to say five. I'm not supposed to say and. 24,205. No and. I almost said and. Okay. So, if we were to write this in fifth grade expanded form, we have two groups of 10,000. And we're going to put those in parentheses because they have to be together to make 20,000. I'm going to run out of room probably. Maybe i got to start further over here. Okay. So, two groups. Oop, let's start further over. How about here? Uh, close enough. Two groups of 10,000, okay, plus four groups of 1,000, plus two groups of 100, plus, hey, we have no 10s. So you know what I do? I don't write any 10s because we don't have any 10s. I'm going to skip right to 1s, plus five groups of 1. And if we want to know if we got the number correct, we would add all this up. So this would be 20,000, this would be 4,000, this would be 200, and this would be 5. And I would add them back together, 20,000, 4,000, 200, 5, 5, 0, 2, 4, 2. I get the number that I started with, okay? What I would like you to do for your problem of the day on your whiteboards and have it ready to show me when you get to the teacher center is I want you to write this number in standard, written, and expanded form. Okay, these three forms. I want you to write the number 629,453. Okay. There it is. You can pause it while you're doing it. Good luck.